What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, let's take a look at the Try Hack Me Pickle Rick Capture the Flag room. So, disclaimer before we start, I haven't done this room yet. So, just uh, so you know, this is not a walkthrough. I will be looking at the room myself and hopefully uh, we'll try to find out what this is together. So, let us get started. First, uh, I will start our attack machine here uh, or the other machine but um so we'll get a minute oh don't want that but uh, we'll uh, wait for a minute for the ip to be shown uh while we do that let's read what this room is all about so it's obviously a rick and morgan themed room uh and it's capture the flag which means that we'll need a few strings that we put in these boxes and we'll check to make sure that they're correct or not uh, but let's see here um, this Rick and Morty theme challenge we have three ingredients or flags that will help Rick make his potion to transform himself back from a pickle so that is kind of the premise here and uh, while we're at it you know we're gonna fire up uh, our trusty shout here and let's see if we get IP address so it says uh, deploy the virtual machine which we just did and explore the web application on uh, this IP here so it tells us it's a web application so let's just go there all right so we have something here uh, help I need your help um, turn myself into a pickle again and I can't change back Log on to my computer and find the last three secret ingredients. I have no idea what the password was. Alright, so. There is a password involved, which I also assume there should be a username as well. And um, currently, I don't see any forms or logging pages uh, just here. This is kind of like a static website. Um, so, let's see if we can find something uh, with this because... Right now, obviously, we don't have any access to any forms or anything. So let's see if there's stuff here. Uh, we have um, some bootstrap things. and uh, Oh, here we have something. Okay, so he did give us the username right here. And let's just copy in that. Just, just so just so we can remember this but um all right so that's cool uh i guess that's the username uh it might be a decoy i don't know but i'm gonna assume that this is the username we'll try it later but i don't see any places to actually enter the logging uh kind of like the logging area i don't see where we can enter a username or password so for that we will use our trusty friend GoBuster, which basically finds hidden directories for us, which is pretty cool. So we'll specify we're looking for the directory. The URL will be 10 .10, uh, yeah, 10 10.10.1.162. And the word list will be in our user share Durbuster. And we'll use the directory list 2.3 medium. Let's not go too crazy yet. This should handle most of them. And we'll just do extensions PHP for sure. Because PHP is kind of like very used in uh, especially form handling and, you know, credentials, login pages. They're all PHP. So we'll scan for that. We'll get HTML, CSS, and JS in there just, you know. And then some text files just in case. And Python files. I don't know. We're just kind of like looking for the most common things that we can find in the web server. And yeah, let's just go. Uh, why don't we have this? So let's let's actually navigate to that um, here. Did I type something wrong? Uh, let's copy in this. Just like that. Uh, copy. And then... Oh, yeah. Not directory. So, oh, wordless. Duh. Another thing we forgot. All right. So, yep, I forgot this wrong. Hey, this proves that I didn't script this beforehand. 
I'm just doing this like any other person would once they just start up oh, where this should be after their buster and I typed wordless wrong, forgot the S. And I'm also not on the correct. Oh, there you go. Alright, so. Over here. Let's. Uh, can't spell today. And alright, let's see what we have here. So. We have. Uh, it's doing its thing. And. It's just, we'll just wait. Alright, so we, meanwhile, let's see what else we can do. So, none of these are clickable. Um, and I guess we'll just have to wait. Oh, we have something here. Portal.php. Okay, it redirects to login.php. Alright, so yeah, I told you. There is a, um, PHP extension associated with especially logins. Alright, so let's see. Uh, let's go to portal.php, the one that I just found here. So portal.php. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. And there is the login page. All right, cool. So we'll enter the username. But as for the password, I am not sure where that could be. So let's try to find the password. If not, if this doesn't work, uh, I will probably try to, uh, use Hydro to crack it or something, but this is actually a pretty big file. It's doing it pretty slow. I'm not sure why it's this slow. Uh, okay, so, hmm, it's there a way to speed this up because it is not going fast. Um, maybe... Surely, this at this rate, the machine will expire before we, before we even get anywhere. Um, let's see why it's. Oh 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 oh. Okay okay. Robots.txt. All right. All right. Let's go to robots.txt. Cool stuff is happening. Uh, actually, we should keep. Let's create a new, new tab here. Alright, so robots have text. All it says is blah 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 dub dub. Alright, so what is this? Robots.txt. Okay, so. Hmm. I mean. Shall we. Shall we wait for this to finish? Nah, we're, this will never finish. I don't know. I was trying to figure out why it's going too slow. But, okay, so we have this string here is this the password why would be robots.txt hmm hey i don't know let's just try it you know never hurts to try and why is this all good thing all right let's zoom out here all right let's see if this is the password if not we'll wait until gobuster finds another directory it's doing its thing but if it is we'll just log it so let's enter that in and Oh my gosh, it is a password. Cool. All right. So, we are in. Okay. Nice. All right. So, what is only the real Rick can view this page? Oh, denied.php. All right. So, we only have this commands panel where we can execute commands. Hmm. Wonder what we can do here. Is it taking Windex commands or not? Hmm. Oh, you know what? Let's just try it. Uh, LS, right? Oh! It does. Okay. So, we have, we just listed the current directory. And I guess we won't need GoBuster anymore. Or we'll just leave it in the background if it finds something else. Uh, but okay. We have super, oh, super secret pickle ingredient. All right, so let's try to find, let's, you know, let's open it up. So, cat this and command disable to make it hard for future people, Rick. Hmm, command disable. Oh, and there's our history here. So, can we, 
open up in them, maybe? Nope, it's disabled. Hmm. Is, does only OS work? Can something else work? Who am I? Okay, this works. You know, I'm just testing around with stuff. Okay, so... It's doing something. Okay, maybe ping doesn't work. But it's not showing the, you know, command disabled to make it hard for future rig or something. Because it's not showing, it's not showing this. And I think I broke it. Let's refresh. Uh, I think I broke the website. It's not showing the original thing either. Let's just go there again, maybe? Or did I break the whole thing? Is this supposed to happen? It's supposed to crash if I try to ping something. Apparently, it's not working. Hmm. This is very interesting. Uh, I'm not sure why it's not working. All right, how about let's go back to the index.html. Uh, something is wrong here. Did I break the PHP or something? Oh my gosh, I think I broke. The oh, yeah, login.php, not index. Okay, but it's running. Okay. Login.php, is it not loading? Why is that? Okay, this is still running. This is interesting. Is it not supposed to? I will figure this out. This is, I don't know. I think what happened is that the ping command kind of broke our shell or something. Let's, should we try to redeploy it? Let's redeploy it. I don't know what, what happened with the ping command. But, um, oh, and we have to wait one minute. I'll see you guys in one minute. All right, and the minute has been up. All right, we have a new IP address. Same deal. It should be the same. So we'll just go straight to login.php. And I... Did I, did I type it wrong? Slash, right. I forgot. Yeah. Okay, so let's go back here. All right, so yeah, this is a brand... I, I don't know what happened. I broke... Where is this? Oh, yeah. I broke the... Apparently, the, the thing. And it doesn't work anymore. I don't know why it doesn't work. But the last IP you saw there, it just kind of froze on me. I can't get back to the website. So let's not try ping command. But I am still I still want to get back to that command page where I want to see why it's not letting me to do vim or cat. So let's ls. Hopefully this will work. All right, ls cat. Yeah, command disable. So yeah, we want we kind of, okay. So so cat's disabled, but like everything else isn't, and ping crashes it. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Uh, can we do something else? Can we echo it? Maybe. Actually, let's ls again. Can we echo? You know, let's just. And can we type it to st? No. Hmm. Can we grab it? Okay, grab doesn't work. Wait. There's a. Did, I remember there's a special grep thing where hmm. wait 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 yeah grep grep tag r yes grep tag r will you know what let's just do this can we type super 
and then we'll put this on so that it actually lifts the... Uh, nope. Alright, wait. Okay, so we got to find a way to kind of echo it. But... I'm trying to think here. You can see... You can see kind of my thought process as I'm going along here. Um, echo... Okay, so echo gives an output anything, but it's not apparently it's not disabled. Uh can we write a bash script? Or something? Uh I'm trying to think. So echo wait a minute, am I doing this right? Uh Standard out echo. I'm just gonna make sure, you know, because I forget things. Oh, and symbol. Duh. Why why did I put and symbol? Just put one. <laughs> it's writing to one file. There we go. Okay, so standard out, okay. So that's standard error. Well, let's see if we can um Right, echo file to standard out. Command output file to standard out. All right, let's see. Uh, okay, so we can't use cat. Damn it, we want. Okay, wait a minute. Let's use this. Let's see if this works. Um, and file.txt, I forgot, so let's, okay, so we're trying to get this, uh, we'll put it here, there we go, so we can copy it, so let's go back here and get this, so this isn't a cat or vim or anything, it's just a print statement, so it should print out what, is in this text file. Actually, let me zoom in here. It's kind of small. There we go. And let's see if it works. Nope, it just does not want to print out. All right. So, uh, can we use head? Nope, it's disabled. Okay, so that means, okay, I'm kind of seeing a pattern here. So there's, it's more likely to be enabled than disabled. So it's making me think that there's some blacklist being placed instead of a whitelist. Because if it's a whitelist, all those like other commands I think of won't work. So that, let, let's just see if it's a whitelist or not. I'll just type random things. All right. So yeah, I mean, it doesn't output anything, but that disabled, that disabled page isn't showing up. So yeah. It's definitely a blacklist because look, I'm typing random commands and it's not showing it. But if I, I cat with something, yeah, this shows up. So yeah, so it's a certain blacklist where only a few commands are disabled. That means we can use a pretty nifty trick here to basically output all the files here. Um, so let's see if we can basically... Let's just do grep r. How about that? Let's let's recursively grep everything. Nothing happened. Is it in the source file? What is this? What is this? Is this a password? We'll come back to that later. Okay, but why didn't I check the source before? Maybe there's a way to hack the source or something source file, something useful in the source file. I don't know. Uh, all right, let's just see what we can do. Again, let's list our directories here. Uh, so we have a, we have assets, deny.php, robots.txt, clue.txt. Oh, we should probably we could probably do clue.txt. How about that? Okay, 
So yeah, it works. All right. Look around the file system for the other ingredient. Well, I don't think that's much of a clue now. It's literally right here. Um. So, I'm, again, I'm trying to see here. So, okay, so bread, I want, I can want to list everything up. You know what I mean? Like, just so that it, I don't have to run. Okay, let's just, how about let's just grab the super secret thing. Um, we'll just change this. Oh, wait, wait a minute. I, I remember now, we just recursively, not this. We recursively list out our directory, which is just a dot. Oh, yes, there we go. Okay, I, I can't believe I forgot that you can do that. All right, so yes, we have all of this out. Okay, but this kind of looks jumbled and stuff. So let's try to view the source of it. Um, yeah, we'll remove all of this. Yeah, so you can actually, yeah, you can actually recursively grab basically the whole the whole directory and it lists everything in all the contents out of the directory so there we go and it it, it lists the php side as well because we're actually going in from the back end in, rather than front end so um yeah uh, only the real rig can view this page okay let's see what the php is doing and yep that's the robots.txt okay so we're making ourselves progress here Let's go to the login.php. Oh, uh, yeah. So, yeah, it's literally checking if it's the string. Um, that, that's pretty funny. Um, but, okay. So, yes, portal.php. So, yeah. This is a, actually, this is a blacklist. So, we can't use cat, head, more, tail, nano, vim, and vi. So, yeah. It's a blacklist. I predicted correctly because, again, I, I entered, like, all these random commands, it, it again whitelist them. So that's kind of what's going on here, and it's executing. Okay, so it's executing the shell. It, it's directly putting it into the shell. So let us. Okay, now that we know that it's a blacklist, how about let's try to run a reverse shell on this thing since it should work. Because, you know, we reversed it. So, let us... Okay, let's first start in listener here. Let uh, LNBP 9999. Alright, we have netcat going. And then, we will... Can we netcat here? Let's just check if there's the netcat. The netcat... Man... Netcat. Okay, wait. Netcat exists. Um. Okay, wait. I have a better idea. Since Netcat is um, it kind of you know how when we when we t go to type here, you know, type here on the shell. When we click Control C, it kind of like breaks the whole thing. So how about we let's try to stabilize the reverse shell. And to do that. On online, I kind of searched up this Python thing, which allows that to happen. So, what can we do here? Python, can, is there Python 3? Nope. There's Python. Wait, 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 wait. Python 3, help. Oh, so yeah, there is Python 3. Okay, so Python, is there Python 2? Nope. So there's only Python 3. Okay, wait. So let's go to pen test. This is where I go when, if I forget like a certain, yeah. Um, right here, we execute this, put this in here, and then obviously we have to change our IP. So, Python 3. 
what's our current IP? 10.6. Then that six dot fifty two. This is our machine IP, by the way. And port is quad nine. Okay, everything else should be the same. Let's execute. Okay, it's doing something. Let's go back to our terminal. Okay, yes. All right, we are in the shell. Yes. Um, we have successfully gained access to the reverse shell. So. Okay, I don't know what happened there, but yeah, yeah, so we, okay, let's, let's try to, yeah, we are in the actual system, look at this, we are, we have hacked in, I guess, I mean, I, I, I don't know what else to say, we have hacked into the actual system using a reverse shell through this command panel, which I don't know why it exists in the first place, but cool, all right, so let's, let's try to find, um, can we cat this time? And yeah, that's what I was saying. We cannot use. I swear, there's a way to stabilize this so that once I do, uh, I, cause like the control C thing keep on, it keep on breaking. So, uh, let's go. Let's see if we can uh, stabilize reverse shell Python. Uh, how to stabilize the reverse shell. Okay, let's try this. Wait, but I don't think we can background it. You know what? Let's just let's just continue. Okay, maybe this maybe stabilizing it will be for another video. But for now, let's just focus on finishing the task at hand and. We'll mess around with the stabilizing thing another day because right now I kind of the video is kind of getting long here and I kind of want to just quickly finish up the flags. Uh, it's doing this thing I think. Different. Oh yes, okay. I mean, all right. So what we want to do is we want to. Can we have pseudo? Pseudo. How do you is it pseudo? How do we gain root again with the pseudo? Mm -hmm. Cause we want to get into root and then it's game over, because then we have everything. Um switch to because I normally don't switch to normal. I just run pseudo stuff. Okay, so pseudo inappropriate IOCTL. Hmm. Can we gain root here? Because that's kind of like what we're looking for, right? We're going after or, or okay, so maybe we don't Okay, let's, okay, how about this? Let's try to run bash using sudo. Okay, did anything happen? Oh, we're in root. Okay, third, third dot text. This must be the third thing. Leave juice. Cool. All right. Third ingredient, and I am, uh Give me one second. I'll reset the reverse shell back. I keep, oh, I keep on having habit of control C. God forget. Oh well, I'll be back. All right, and we are back. All right, so I start the reverse shell again. Okay, so flea juice. Let's just copy and paste this into the third ingredient. Oh, and it's correct. Cool. All right, so first and second ingredient. Now I just assume we can, since we have root access now. Oh, right, we don't yet. Uh, it doesn't matter, because I don't think we, uh, okay, let's just LS again. I'm <laughs> being careful not to uh, accidentally press Control C here. So let's just, let's 
paste in. Okay, Mr. Misik Hair. Which, uh, why did, what happened? Let me back, zoom back in. What, um, which, which one is this? Let's just see, is this the second one or the first one? Let's try the first one. Oh, yep, yeah, it's the first one. Alright, so we just need the second one now. And the second one, I believe I saw it here somewhere. Uh, where is the second one? Oh, well, let's just go back. We will find our way through this. So, I'm going to see the... Okay, wait. Um. So, the second one, I believe, I think I missed it somewhere. But it is somewhere here. Hmm. I think I think we just have to find it. It's because since we have root, it's gotta be somewhere here. Is there a home directory? Can we see slash so home? Oh, we do. Yes, there is. Okay, Rick. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, second ingredient. All right, so here we go. Um, this looks like a folder. Again, there's there's no highlighting whatsoever, so it's kind of annoying. But second ingredients. Uh. Oh. Uh, Wait a minute. Is this a folder? Why does it have a space? Right, forgot. I cannot do that. I gotta be careful with this. One day I will figure out this stabilizing thing because I've seen others do it. Are they both? What is this? Hold up. Can we just wildcard it? Oh, yes, there it is. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, apparently, yeah, you can't. Okay. But as a, anyways, I was as I was saying, uh, let's just make sure this works. Uh, I, I did not even. There we go. Jerry tier. And there we go. We finished the room. But yeah, as I was saying, I gotta figure out this shelf stable thing. I've seen others do it where you get all the like highlighting and like the terminal thing. Um yeah, like like this. Uh but for the purposes of our room here, we can't really run in the background. Or maybe we can. But you know, this isn't really a good web interface. You know, it's just kind of basic. So, but, and for the purpose of this video, I, at least we make it through. It's kind of annoying, but we did make it through. Uh, yeah, so, to recap, um, this was pretty fun, and obviously, it took me over half an hour to crack it. If I had done this before, I could probably showcase it, walk you through in less than five minutes. But, this proves, again, um, I'm doing this the first time as well, you know, just to see how... Uh, how well I can improvise and, you know, find little details. And I would say I did pretty well. Obviously, there's probably speedrunners on this. I don't know. Try hack me speedruns to search it up on Google or something. There's probably something like that. But, yeah. Uh, we I guess we first, we always, I check the source, again, with the comments. The, and then we managed to find a blacklist because I used this cool nifty trick here where I type random stuff in the command thing and I execute it and just see if the error message pops up 
And finally, we establish the reverse shell so that we can assume root access um, surprisingly without a password, you can see. And then, yeah, so we can like do like all this stuff and, you know, just do root stuff. So, you know, IP, you know, just, just like we can, we can run all of it. So, you know what, to celebrate, let's recursively delete the whole root drive. How about that? As root, because we made it, we got all the tasks, let's explode this virtual machine. Here we go. Remove RF, the root directory, and everything inside. And there we go. Goodbye, virtual machine. It's been nice seeing you. So yeah, um, thank you for in enjoying this video. I guess um, uh, more coming out soon. Uh, leave a like and subscribe. And I think this virtual machine is done. All right. I will see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.